For many months, the mighty hunter had been having trouble with his nephew, Horace. The hunter wanted his nephew to practice his piano lessons, but Horace wanted to go out and play. That's it, son. Practice makes perfect. You know what they say. A man without music is like a fish without scales. <laughs> That's a joke, son, I say. Now, what kind of practicing is that, Horror? Look here, boy, you can't... Uh-huh, that's not horrors at all. The wise hunter was right. He found his nephew outside playing ball and carefully returned him to the piano. And so it went until one day... All right, horrors, time for your piano practice. Can't be done, Unc. Our piano's gone. Gone? Gone where? Stolen, Unc. Somebody just up and stole it. Well, I declare, somebody's gonna face the music for this crime. Come on, now, we'll hop down to police headquarters and report this. And at that very moment, there was much excitement at police headquarters. Ah, sure, madam, and it's a shame, but it's happening everywhere. It's every grand piano that's being stolen. Ah, oh, we're doing what we can. Sure, and there's only one criminal who'd stoop to making do re me off of stolen pianos, the fox. And there's only one person sharp enough to catch him. I'm calling the hunter. Uh, hello, Flim. I want to report a stolen piano. Ah, Hunter, then you've already heard. Heard? Why, it was my piano, son. Of course I heard. Ah, there's more to it than that, Hunter. Come right over and I'll explain. Explain what, son? Hunter, how did you ever get here so fast? Ah, it's thankful I am that you'll be on this case. And so it was that a short while later, the Hunter and Horrors were winging their way across country in the Hunter's private plane searching for the fox and the stolen pianos. And then high over the hills of Hollywood, California. Ooh, son, look at that. The biggest piano I ever saw. Looks like we got the fox red-handed. But, um... Hang on, son, we're going down. Unfortunately, the hunter had been all wet in thinking he had found the fox. Actually, he had found only a large swimming pool shaped like a piano. Looks like this piano case started out on a wrong note, huh? <laughs> That's a joke. Dry up, Sean. We got work to do. With his plane in need of repair, the hunter used his speedy automobile to hunt down the fox. In short order, the hunter really went to work. He arrested two children with toy pianos. <laughs> then he ripped apart a record store. playing that piano, Fox. Give yourself up in the name of the law. When the piano music proved to be only a record, the hunter was on the trail again. Look at there, Hawk. That looks like fun. Musical trampolines. Let's try them, Hawk. Well, I could use a wee mite of relaxation. Here you are, folks. Nothing like it anywhere. Play a two while you jump. Enjoy the world's only musical trampolines. Just one dollar for five minutes. Here's two dollars, stranger. Now, I'll try it out first, Horace, to be sure it's safe. Okay, Unc. Look out, you kook. You're... Come back here, you crafty criminal! Ah, Hunter! So you finally struck the right note. The fox and all the grand pianos. Ah, oh, Mike, how can we ever repay you? Well, now, you might start by loosening up on that east ring, son. Ah, that I will, Hunter. And then we can close the lid on this case.